What up boys, it's Gaz, and welcome to the Warframe video. We are going to be showing another Riven opening tutorial today because the Corpus Railjack update got delayed. So, here we are with another one. And this one is definitely not as highly requested as the previous one about the Dargan pilots, but it's still one that, you know, maybe some people might find annoying. Uh, I'm playing, I'm probably making a video on like nearly every Riven challenge eventually, so when there's nothing really to talk about or if I just need to make a quick video, these will be coming out every here and there, so keep an eye out on those. Alright. And if you want to check out the live streams, the link is on the screen right now. Alright, so the Riven Challenge we're doing today is consecutive headshots in Arcwing. This one has seven consecutive headshots, and we have two different methods for you. One of them will involve night on the planes, and one of them can be done at any time. So we're actually just going to quickly do a test run here with the Volcar Wraith, just to show um, the night method. So you can bring any gun you want for this, but might, might as well just bring a sniper rifle, because this one will involve shooting the Eidolon in the head. If you did not know this... For this Riven challenge specifically, where it's get consecutive headshots while on Arcwing, it can count from shooting the Eidolon in the head. And if it is night on the planes, this is the easiest method, as the Eidolon is usually pretty easy to find. Just fly in there, uh, activate your Arcwing, and then go hunt the Eidolon down. There should be a big blue like pillar of light where it's spawning. And if you start looking for it the second you spawn in, the pillar of light will still be there. If you are maybe AFK for a couple seconds and don't get the pillar of light, it's still not too hard to find, as long as you know the usual uh, spawn locations. So this is one method here. Uh, you can probably hit him before he gets out of the water, but I I didn't get the headshots here. So wait a couple seconds for him to come out of the water. Now keep in mind, multi-shot on your build will also take effect as well. So I'll fire one shot from my Volcar. It's three headshots right there from the, the multi-shot rolling there. So that you can just keep firing there to get the seven you need very easily. It's like pretty hard to miss, honestly. But we're going to show the other method here. And that's going to be um, actually just using a gun with no mods on it. Or you can go on the steel path. If you don't want to take the mods off your build, you can go on the steel path because the enemies take a couple more bullets to kill on the steel path than the normal mode. The problem with normal mode is, like, you're going to basically need to have an unmodded weapon to not kill them in one shot. Especially if it's going to take seven bullets, uh, seven headshots, like this Riven challenge is right here. You might as well just throw on the steel path. Um, they'll usually take more than seven bullets from, like, an assault rifle. Or, like, you can put the Gurkhada on it. I got the Super Vandal right here. But, yeah, make sure you put the steel path on. Um... You can even put on the, uh, I think it's the Extinguished Dragon Key. can reduce your damage while it's equipped. If you don't have access to the Steel Path, maybe put an Extinguished Dragon Key on and just go shoot some Grenier in the head uh, seven times. That's basically what we're going to do here on the Steel Path. So, just remember, it has to be an Arc Wing. So, you could technically, like, stun them with your frame and then jump into Arc Wing, but it's not really that necessary. So, we're just going to get in the Arc Wing, fly to the uh, nearest location the enemy spawn at right over here. There's a Grenier right there. Very easy to shoot him in the head. And there you go. It's... It's done quicker than you could even, like, fully spawn out there. So we're going to fly back to town and see what we got with our kit gun Riven. All right. I think it's actually going to be a pretty good one, so keep that in mind, guys. We're also going to roll a little bit in this video. So, yeah, it's as simple as that. I know these videos will probably be a little bit sh uh, shorter because, like, I mean, I'm just showing you how the best way to do it is. And this is the best way I've ever found to do it. Um, the Eidolon method is only available during night, of course, and is a Verma Splicer Riven, the new infested kit gun that is like the tentacle gun. And, you know, it's actually pretty good. I like the primary version. Some people are trying to tell me that the secondary version is actually good. I did not like the secondary version at all, to be honest. But I can tell you for a fact the primary version is pretty good. Um, especially if we get some gun buffs. Let's just see what we can roll here. So starting off with reload speed, Grenier, minus recoil. We go to fire rate and viral. Pretty good, pretty good. We can do better, though. We only have 7,000 Kuba, to be fair. So can't really be asking for too much more. Magazine size, reload speed, some utility stats, eh. Not too phenomenal. And then we got a couple more rolls of Kuva left in us. Multi-shot reload speed. Multi-shot is good on a beam weapon nowadays, guys. It has, if you saw our previous video from like a month ago, multi-shot actually is really good on beam weapons now. And then we get multi-shot crit damage minus slash. Now, I wish the minus slash was something else. Maybe minus zoom. But we will take it because multi-shot and critical damage are very good DPS stats, especially since we have a full crit version of the Hermit Splicer. Uh, it's going to have about 97%... Uh, crit chance with point strike on there. So if we put like Arcade Avenger on there, we could potentially get some orange and red crits if we use Vigilante as well. So good stuff there. And the, the multi shot's going to make it so we're proccing more status than we normally would because that's how it works on uh, beam weapons now. All right, guys, hope you found this video helpful. Uh, you know, it, it's it's the way to do it. It's probably the best way to do it. If you if you have a better method of doing it, I love to hear these kind of comments in these videos. If you have a better method of getting consecutive headshots in Arcwing besides the Eidolon or, you know, like, just shooting the Grenier right there. I mean, I don't even think there probably isn't any method besides that. Um, if you have some like big brain galaxy brain method that I didn't think of, 
Post it in the comments down below. I will pin your comment if it's actually a good method. It's not this. And if you don't have a Galaxy Brain method, you know, maybe just come say hi. We're waiting on that Corpus Reljack update here. I'll see you next time, guys. Take it easy. Peace.